Hi guys, Denise here. We're going to be talking about healthy habits of an online teacher. So we're going to be talking about three things. How to prepare, how to take care of yourself and make sure your energy levels are up, and what to do when finishing up. So I broke these down into three points. Um, one would be your setup, your lesson prep, and your self prep. So what I recommend you to do is to have your whole setup ready, your laptop, your gadgets, your internet, your, um, your notepad, your headset, all ready the night before so you don't have to think about it in the morning. Moving on to the lesson prep, especially for new teachers, I would recommend that you go through all your lessons the night before so that you have an idea of how you are going to conduct your lessons. Sometimes the lessons are too short and you have to ask more follow-up questions. Sometimes they are too long and you have to move a bit more quickly. Um, so I would recommend that you go through them at least once uh, the night before. With the self-preparation, I will have my clothes ready the night before and it takes me about five minutes to um, do up my hair and get my face ready or whatever. Um, also, I get up an hour before so I can do all this, spend five or ten minutes on myself and then I will get my coffee ready, I will sit down, I will check in, I will maybe look through my, uh, my lessons one more time before I start my shift. Hi guys, so I want to talk about some healthy habits that you should have for your own health and your own sanity. So I broke these down into three parts as well. So this would be sleep, posture, and caffeine or coffee. Um, so it's important you get enough sleep, especially with the different time zones flying around. I myself have to get up at two in the morning, so I have to plan my sleep the night before and make sure I get enough sleep for the next day. Um, with posture, uh, especially if you're having long shifts like I do on the weekend, it's important you have a good, uh, a good seat, a good cushion, uh, maybe a back cushion, um, so that you're not walking around like an old lady for the rest of the week. Um, as for coffee, I think this is very important for us online teachers. Uh, as I said, getting up at two in the morning, you need to be well caffeinated and alert for the students. Hi guys, so to finish up, I want to talk about some habits we should have during our shift. So that being how, um, how long we should be in the MIS before we start our class and our class notes. So um, before starting your class, I would recommend that you be in there um, two or three minutes beforehand and start your class um, on the dot. So what I do is if I have consecutive lessons, I will um, straight away, as soon as I finish the lesson, I will log in to my other VC and just wait there. And in the meantime, I can do my class notes as well, finish up my class notes. Bringing us to our second point, class notes. So what I recommend you to do is to finish your class notes um, straight after your lesson or at your first available free slot. So with the new rule at FF, we need to finish our class notes before, the morning class notes before 5 p.m. Beijing time and the afternoon ones before 12 p.m. Uh, now how I do this is, as I've been working with FF for so long, I have a whole archive of old class notes that I have. Um, and depending on the student, the class, and maybe any recommendations I would like to give, um, I can cut and paste, and this is all very efficient for me. For new teachers, I would recommend that you start an archive like this, so that um, say in a couple of months this would also be very automatic and very easy for you to do in the future. Hi guys, thank you for listening. So to recap, preparation is important, having everything ready the night before so you don't have to think about it in the morning, um, looking after yourself, getting enough sleep, having enough coffee, very important and also some healthy habits to have during class. So starting your class on time, being in the VC beforehand and finishing your class notes in a timely manner. Um, these are all habits that will 
that will ease your shift and make you um, have less problems in the future. Thank you guys again and I hope to see you soon. Bye everyone.